Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and I'm going to be showing you three different ways to use glitter or shimmer paste on a custom designed envelope. So this first design, I'm starting with a stencil from Hero Arts and I taped that down with some micro pour tape to a black envelope. This is a five by seven black envelope from Paper Source and I'm using two different colors of glitter paste or glimmer paste. This first color is from Nouveau and this is glimmer paste in pink opal. So I'm smearing this on with a Ranger palette knife and I just wanna get a really thin coating of this pink shade and I'm gonna bring that down to just about halfway down the side of this envelope. I want to make the shimmer paste kind of fade off a little bit so I'm lifting as I come to the right side where I want it to fade off and then I'm uh, just letting it kind of fade off to the to the center of the envelope. I've then taken another color of shimmer paste or in this case it's called glitter paste from Viva Decor in the color fuchsia and I've mixed those two shades together so I can have a little bit of a transition shade and then I'm going to come in with the full fuchsia color so that I can have a nice bright vibrant color at the bottom of the envelope and I love this fuchsia glitter paste um, I've used it a couple times on projects and it's just delicious. I love it so much. It's so vibrant. It's almost like this really pretty wine grape color. It's really, really nice. So I peeled off that stencil and I immediately took the stencil to some water and I used a soft bristled brush to clean off that stencil, just some water and then a little bit of, of scrubbing with that br bristled brush. Now I'm going to use that same fuchsia color because I just can't get enough of it. And I'm going to smear it onto the corner of this metallic lavender envelope from Simus Stamp. This is a standard envelope, set card size envelope. And so it's a little smaller than the five by seven I was just working on. And I'm just going to add kind of like these smears of color in this top corner. This shade is from Cosmic Shimmer and it's in the color Vivid Violet. And then I also use this last shade called Lavender Mist, also from Cosmic Shimmer Paste. And I really love how these three colors kind of played off of each other. And I thought it was really, really fun. So I noticed that this envelope is warping a little bit with the moisture from the shimmer paste. Uh, I will address that later and I'll tell you what I did and it helped minimize that look. But for now, I'm not gonna worry about it because uh, as it dries, some of that warping will go away. So that envelope, the shimmer paste is done for it. And I'm going to go into my third uh, shimmer or glitter paste idea for an envelope. And this time I'm going to do some masking with a post-it note. So I've actually put the post-it note on so that I can kind of use that top corner or now it's the bottom corner because I've turned the envelope. And I'm going to run the glitter paste off the post-it and I just want to have that line there. This is going to create a box around where I'll be addressing the envelope. So you do have to keep in mind how big your address is going to be. If it's really lengthy and has many lines, like if it's an international address or something like that, you might want to do the address first and then mask off the area. In fact, if I was to do this envelope again, I would actually slide this entire area down a little bit because it was a little close to where I put the postage stamps in the end, but not enough to redo the envelope altogether. So I grabbed a smaller post-it note just so I could get that bottom edge. I wasn't planning to do the bottom edge all along, but then I realized I kind of wanted it. So I am adding a little bit of that bottom edge and then I'll peel off that post-it. You can see that it kind of frames off the area where the address will be. So I set these envelopes aside and I probably could have used them after about a half hour to 45 minutes, but I let them dry overnight. And some of the warping did go away, but just to be sure, I did uh, kind of put some paper on top and run them through my die cutting machine and that seemed to flatten them out. So for some of these addresses I'll be adding today, I'm going to use this Lettermate stencil. And I'm not going to use it on this first one until the, the second line of the street address, but I did want to show you the process. So I first penciled on Rita's name onto the envelope and now I'm using a medium Posca white marker to trace the name on to the envelope. And I'm only going to use this um, 
width of marker for her first name. For her last name, I switched to the extra fine Posca white marker. And I really love how bright and vibrant this marker is. In fact, I will be using it on the other two envelopes as well. So now I'm going to fill in her address. And just so you're aware, before I start getting comments in the um, down in the comments section, this address was voluntarily given. Uh, she gave her address to me to use in videos and on the internet. So um, totally okay for me to share her address. I have her permission as well as the other two people that I'm going to be addressing envelopes to today as well. So totally have their permission. So now I'm going to use a ruler and just trace on some lines and then I'll go ahead and write on that address. I did want to mention in that first envelope, um, you'll notice that I didn't use the stencil exactly how it is with the big gaps between the lines. I just uh, moved the, the stencil down so that I could get the lines a little bit closer together. You can definitely do that. But in my third example, I will show you how you can use it um, all at once without having to move the stencil around. Um, I think it works really well, especially if you're going to be doing calligraphy and you just leave off the ascenders and descenders and then remove the stencil and then add those back in. I think it's really pretty. So here's that example where I'm going to use the stencil as is, and I'm just using some micropore tape to tape that onto the envelope. Um, I got this micropore tape a while back, and I really like it because it's very low tack, and it doesn't pull away at the surface of the papers that I use it on top of, and it peels off cleanly, so it works well for this. So you'll notice I'm just addressing the the address within the gaps in the stencil and this actually works out pretty well but depending on how big your writing is those lines are going to look really far apart so that is my one complaint about this lettermate stencil but on the other hand I really like how uniform it looks once you have everything on there so there you go that's the address and then I put some postage stamps on all of the envelopes and those are my envelopes for today. Hope you guys have some ideas for some glittery and shimmery custom envelopes. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.